Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and welcome to episode 13 of Stellaris. And we are gonna build something here to block off our, uh, our neighbors. I'm wondering whether... I think I'm definitely gonna go after this one, because this... Uh, yeah, okay, we're gonna build a frontier outpost here. The reason is, we wanna block off the Ulgarak from expanding too much. In particular, there's this system here which has a couple of Tundra Worlds that they are going to survey, and they really like Tundra Worlds, so I need to somehow stop them from taking that. That would just be too much inside my borders. Construction complete. So yeah, we've got construction complete on Spaceport. That means we've got uh, destroyers getting built. Or not we've got destroyers, we've got Corvettes being built, but now Oh, yeah, we don't actually have the ability to build destroyers yet, so what we should do is build a level 3 spaceport. No! The last of our Slurpinar test subjects. We never sent the science ship right away. We took too long. The last of our Slurpinar test subjects on Diona's Diamond have succumbed to the effects of their defective brain implants. Many went completely berserk, shrieking random code segments from the Agarian programming language used in their implants. While savagely attacking anything, or anyone or anything in their immediate vicinity. How could this have happened? Not good. That's all I'm saying. That's not good. You know what? You need to upgrade yourself. Because you are old to old tech. You're too slow. That's why you couldn't get all the way over here. <sighs> well, whatever. We're going to have to live with this. Good. Now, the Maldor can get back to searching and analyzing and surveying. So much going on. So our military fleets, what's going on here? So we have a military task force coming over this way. They're heading home to get upgrades and once they reach home, they will meet up with some more military, um, some corvettes and then we can they can go back to killing crystals in Plov. The crystalline entities of Plov are to be harvested. That is the rule. That is what we have decreed. Now what's in here? The ocean world. Not useful. Continental world. Desert. Hmm, none of these. Oh man, yeah. Sorry about that. I've got some uh, coughing going on. Hopefully I will remember to edit that out. Ah, so... We have uh, the Galactic Netgallion Nation is... is getting to like me. Everybody's starting to like me, that's good. In fact, even the Nagelak Star Confederacy quite like me and they're inside my border, so hopefully they won't go to war with me despite being a pretty much the complete opposite of my usual ethics. We now have the ability to build th uh, level 3 power plants, cloud lightning mining. Oh, I should have rolled, scrolled down. Look at all these really cool things we can build here. Red lasers. Uh, mine oh, maybe we should start developing some laser weaponry. That might be useful. Mining drone lasers. Uh, this will remain as a oscillating fire frequencies. Yeah, I should have scrolled down to see all these really cool things. I haven't, I haven't seen any of them. Red crystal capacitors. You know what? I think it's time for the cloud lightning conduits. I think I've killed all the, the clouds. So I'm going to start doing that. Why not? It's going to be fun. Being able to throw lightning from my ships, what's not to like about that? And we've finished analyzing debris. We also should be able to get regenerative hull tissue very soon as well. So I'm just hoping that these guys don't send down any... Oh, that's the malleable Gunlatha thing. Burga has finished its surface construction. What's going on here? Oh, look, we got lots of upgrades. Yes, upgrade those. And upgrade that. And upgrade that. And we have too many planets! We have more planets under our direct control than we can efficiently manage. So that means we lose influence and we lose energy credits, which is a problem. But, now the way you're supposed to deal with this is you're supposed to outsource the management of these planets to planetary governors. However, I am reliably informed that the planetary governor, not the planetary governor, the sector governors, I'm reliably informed that these governors are absolutely rubbish right now. And it's almost better to just take the hit. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Okay, so let's uh, continue clearing some space here on this planet. We have all these excess minerals and we really need to start using them. 
Uh, uh, uh. Oldara, what's... Yeah, we, we don't need the space just yet. Is there anyone... Nobody is, is wanting for something to do? Our next pop will come in here and will not be will not be in the right place. Oh look, this one is just an individualist spiritualist, whereas the other ones are individualist xenophile spiritualists. So we've got some. Oh, and this one's an individualist xenophile. This planet is starting to show some ethics divergence. Essentially, the planets that we have are not quite the way we. You know, our population is changing as they spread out to the stars. So that is going to be interesting. How's this Arctic world? We probably need to start clearing out some stuff here. Well, we will start clearing out stuff once we uh, have people coming in. And when I say people, I mean space foxes, obviously. Space foxes, greatest System foxes. Survey complete. Great. The Mulder now has new, new ideas. Zoom out. And the Landin. Oh yeah, so we get wait, that's Landine and that's Lando. I like the Lando system, but Landine is obviously like, I don't know, Lando's other half? I don't know, just guessing. Now I should merge my fleets actually, let's merge these guys together. You join these guys. Yes, transfer all of them. Now we need a much more glorious fleet here. And our spaceport is still upgrading. Okay. Well, I'll send my war fleet up to kill some more crystals. That's what we're gonna do with these guys. Your power, or your your task, should you choose to accept it, is to deal with the hostile space crystals that are hanging out here. We still have the space amoeba. You know, at some point, I think we're getting close to be able to kill that space amoeba, actually, and then we can survey that system and take control of it. I still have Zunur. Ships uh, upgraded. I, I Construction think. complete. Okay. Uh, no, oh, I, I did that, and I did that, and we're doing fine here, everything's going fine. This, oh, so the Mackinder was the one, I sent it home to get some upgrades. Kydraconus, can you survey this system? And once we've finished surveying landing, we'll be okay. So, yeah, we have a uh, frontier outpost being built in this system so that we can keep an eye on Lando and his nefarious business on... Uh, well, card playing and things like that. I'm, I'm sure that's what the Neba Vada actually do. Let's take a look at these guys. Uh, planet Summary Surface. Ooh, look! They're like fungoids hanging from the ceiling. Ah, you know, I wonder what state these guys are in. It says they are in the Machine Age. The Age of the Machines. We are in the Age of the Machines. Yeah, so now that the game's been out for a week or so, there are over like a hundred mods already. Now, there's a bunch of mods that do things like remove the cap on planets because people want to micromanage their entire empires. There's some AI improvements, there's a lot of graphical changes. There is a Kerbal Race mod, which might be interesting, I guess. Uh, wow. Wow. God, I'm growing so fast. How's my spaceport? Now, now we can actually build uh, some destroyers. Yes, let's build a pair of destroyers here. Not bad. And maybe we should build another colony ship because there's other places we can plop down a colony. Yeah, actually, we could plop a colony uh, in around Caravan because that is still there. And then we could strip out this and get back some more influence. That would be one idea. We also have the Insidious Snyron in that space there. So I don't know, what what is the Igarian, sorry, the Ulgarak? Oh, yes, research. Yes, we now have the power of cloud lightning. Void clouds use the electrical charges generated by the dense gases that make up most of their core to release bolts of burning plasma. Using the same gas composition together with a specialized conduit allows for powerful lightning weaponry. Oh yeah. And we could do self-aware logic. Okay. Or assist research. Oh, allowed. makes Okay, so the assist research I guess allows science ships to in, uh, assist with research. That's a really cool idea. Uh, or red crystal capacitor. Oh, you know what? We're, oh, okay. Well, I was about to say, look, we're going to be 
waking up more of these. We're going to be researching more of these because we're going to be smashing into these crystals. But I guess, you know, we'll just get there and kill them. And, you know, next thing you know, we'll find out all about the, the details. Okay. So let's uh, just check the surface fleet here, surface guys. Let's clear that. Since we get so much, we get a lot of excess minerals right now. We're doing a pretty good job of keeping these things around. Uh, uh, yeah, let's clear or that. We get tons of stuff. I guess I'll just clear everything. I'll clear something on like every planet. Just to make sure that we're keeping up with everything. Can't clear anything there. We have someone that is here that is generating minerals, but I could build something more appropriate. I should I could maybe build a power station there. Yeah, I might just do that. Let's build a power station basic power plant. And we're gonna get up to five pops, no problem on that planet. Burger! The burger! Burger burger! And build a mine. Or, let's build a science lab. Uh, mine, science lab, power plant. I uh, don't know what to do. Let's build a mine. Let's just build more mines. System survey. The Mulder has more stuff to do. The Mulder? Uh, didn't I think of something awesome for it to do? Oh, it needs to get upgraded, doesn't it? It needs to upgrade its fleet. And the first task force... Is headed up here. Second task force can come here as well, actually. The first task force can go and attack this one. So maybe the second task force can come up for reinforcements or something at some point. And we can upgrade all our power plants. Oh yes. We're going to have more power than we need at this point. <laughs> but we get tons of minerals and we did have a, a moment when we were running low on uh, power, so... Seems like a good idea to do this. Now we have another crystal entity. Okay, we've finished. Yeah, we've finished clearing stuff, finished clearing stuff. Hostile fleet encountered. Oh, yeah. Go on, what's going on? And the, the construction ship has finished its job, so I think I'm going to set it to building a science station. Build observation outpost. I guess it'll try and do that on its own. And so, well, that's nice because I can do that from within the battle. Ruby crystals! And we lost one of the Corvettes. Now there's the Astarian, the Pazdor, the Ubruldur, the Thagorian, the Thagarian, the Askaramdur, the Etaradur, the Zadarian, the Ivanian, the Mount Muntadarian. And they're just about finished here. And the nice thing is those other crystals, they're not really doing anything. Great. Task Force, you get yourself repaired. You repair yourself. Construction repeat. Great. Great. Oh, no, the, and the third Task Force should have joined the, these guys. Okay, well, they're all going to go up here and then they're going to meet up. That's what's really going to happen. So, the third Task Force... There you go. They'll take a while to get up there, and then when they're up there, they will... I don't know, they'll have a big party, blowing up crystals. And the Maldor, at some point, will be upgraded and able to start analyzing these things. Okay, so look, we've now secured a fairly large chunk of space, and this is just outside my let my corner of space. But hey, we've got... We've got this. That's fine. Now, I'm wondering if their drives are able to cross that space, or we've, if we've managed to cut them off. If we've cut them off, great. If not, well, we'll just have to work a little harder. But it's nice to clear the claim the this section of space. Okay, you. Research complete. Okay, what else? Oh, we can survey that system, can't you? Construction ships. Um, the construction ship. I want to see what we can do here. Oh yeah, we can start building mines everywhere. Build some mining stations. Oh wait, no, I wanted to build the observation outpost first. We're gonna do them all. 
and we've got more science. <gasps> oh yeah, we now have the power of psionic theory, which means Jedi Knights. That, that'll be really useful in the ground war when we actually get to a ground war. We haven't even touched a ground war yet. We haven't invaded anyone or bombarded them into the Stone Age or anything. The mind is in many ways a reflection of the universe itself, a microcosmos. All species may not reach this insight, but their minds are tools greater than any other. And... Regenerative hull tissue, fleet support, adaptive bureaucracy, empire leader capacity. Does that mean we can carry... Oh, no, that means we can just have more leaders. And it costs fewer edicts. That's a nice, fast one. Um, and that gets us some more hardware. The Hyper Entertainment Forum. So this is a great place. We can build this on a planet and improve its happiness, which will probably help keep people there. I think we still have regenerative hull tissue there. We might be seeing a bit more of that because I think the crystals teach us that. So I'm going to go for this. There we go. Get some adaptive bureaucracy. Just having that, that's a, like a static bonus. It's a nice thing to have. Okay, and finished timed project. We have a special project, the debris. But we don't dare send our science ship in there until we've killed the other th other bits and pieces. Looks like they have. Uh, looks like they might have actually exploited these things. That's these guys. Uh, that's my fleet zipping around. They're going to go to Jaffon and uh, get themselves repaired. I'm not sure. This is like an AI empire, but it doesn't seem to be doing a great deal. Let's take a look at the fleet. Wow, they've actually built a fairly you know, substantial fleet there. They get a bonus to researching things that I already know about, apparently. Okay. Oh, regardless. Yes, we have one of our destroyers sitting here on the edge of the system, but don't worry, we're not going anywhere just yet. We're bringing them all together into one almighty fleet, and hopefully we'll kill you a little faster. Okay, just leave that. We don't need to worry about that. Don't need to worry about that. And once again, we've got tons and tons of minerals. So let's, um... Yeah, might as well upgrade these things. Upgrade. Maybe I should build like some, you know, some fancy stuff, some more. Uh, what do you call it? I've forgotten. Maybe I should build some more stuff. I and I've completely forgotten what that stuff is. So whatever. Let's clear this out so that we've got the planet ready. Anybody sitting around doing it? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, second task force is here. And you know what we can do, is we can join these two guys together. Oh, wait a second. Oh, third task is still in flight. The construction. Construction complete. Yes, construction vessel. Can you build me a... Mining stations. Build all the mining stations Ships you can. upgraded. Construction complete. Great. Construction complete. Fleet order finished. The second task force is now sitting there. The Mulder needs to head up and investigate these here. We're going to move here. We're not going to survey the system, we're just moving here. Are there any... We have the singularity. Oh, look, we haven't explored this system, actually. Can we survey that system? It is... It is within our space, so I should probably do that. And these guys are getting repaired. 99, 97, 98. Very, very slowly. Once they are ready... We're going to send them out to the front line. Where's the third fleet task force? It's there as well. Almost there. Okay, so now we can actually join these guys too into Voltron fleet. We don't have a leader yet. We actually do have a leader, I think. We could assign to them. But I'd prefer to send the first task force and join up with them. Oh! Oh! <laughs> we have the XCOM event. In an apparent response to our operations on their primitive world, many of the Garothi nation states on Chorlitz have momentarily put aside their squabbling to form a new supranational military organization. According to local media, this task force has been charged with defending their planet from 
hostile activities perpetuated by an unknown alien agency against the Garothi species as a whole. Disconcerting. Yes, that's one way to put it. Or, fantastic if you happen to be someone producing video games looking for an awesome idea for a game. Actually, I should see how high-tech are the Garothi. Uh, the Garothi. Yeah, they're primitive feudalism, so... Yeah, this is basically XCOM, but with knights in armor. <laughs> like, it's like they formed the Black Watch from Game of Thrones, but to attack the aliens. That's actually pretty funny. Oh, man. Uh, where is it? Shorts. Shorts observation. Maybe I should cut back on their thing, or maybe I should give them technological enlightenment. I think I'm quite happy learning huge amounts of society research from them. I mean, what are they going to do? I guess they're going to slowly get mad at me for doing these things. <sighs> and our technology is doing just fine. And we have the situation log. We have these alien specimens, which I should probably start pulling down. Man, it seems that every time I look, I just have way too many minerals left. Which isn't a bad problem to have, to be honest. Yeah, actually, in Astashi, we should now have... Let's build another colony ship. So uh, we have this colony here that we can do. And we also have Azax, I guess, as well. We System haven't... Survey complete. We haven't got anyone... We've controlled by... Oh, oh. Oh, my, my dear. Oh. Valdrig Denbadir has died at the age of 84. Oh, he will be missed. So we need to find someone to replace him. And... Didn't we have, like, a scientist? Yes, he's leading engineering research, though. I guess we need to just recruit a new scientist. Uh, mm -mm -mm. He is careful. We have anomaly research speed. No, we will take this guy because... Oh, although he's kind of old. Death chance 0%. Yes. Uh, I guess okay I guess what we're gonna do is so whoever yeah he's doing the Machander who's the other one busy commanding Maldor right so what we'll do is we're gonna recruit this guy or maybe you know what I think I'm gonna take the one that has the lower fail risk right and then we're gonna do some reassigning so the Maldor sorry the Maldor we're gonna reassign this new guy to the Malder, and then the science dude will be the guy that has the actual experience in the field. Yes, Bim Den Palosh. You need, you need to have some uh, a quiet retirement. No more running around on the front lines for you. Science ship. Um, we're almost ready to start investigating that. You know what? You should survey that system, shouldn't you? Since we've surveyed everything else. Yeah, the landing is just slightly beyond our limit. But if we get some bonuses to influence, then we might be able to just take control of that. Which will be very, very nice. And then we just need to figure out how to deal with the Mintaka system. Yeah. Claw. That's a shame that we lost that stuff there. It saddens me, but unfortunately there's nothing we can do. And then we're really going to have to think about what to do about these directly controlled planet limits. If we have... I'm hoping the... I'm hoping that it doesn't become like, you know, minus 20% when I have 7. Because that could really start to cut into my influence and uh, into my growth, let's say. Ah. <laughs> okay. Stashi, we're building the colony ship, research that's right. Complete. And we've got research. So actually, what was the research? We can get biolab, regenerative hull tissue, or volcano removal. You know what? We want volcano removal because we actually really need that. So I, I missed what we researched. Oh well, whatever. Doesn't matter. How's my task force doing? Oh yeah, these guys are all together. They're gonna join up and perform some crystal cleansing here. We're gonna cleanse your, the salt, the system's chakra or something, right? <laughs> We're gonna go here first. How are you liking that? And then we can just watch this unfold. 
Let's, let's zoom in on them. Oh yeah, look at these guys, and there's the much bigger destroyers. These things are vastly more powerful. And I can, oh, no, that's not the one. If I do this, yeah, I can turn the camera with the right mouse button and watch them as they charge towards their target. Ready to unleash hell, nuclear hell, nuclear fusion powered warheads. That's right. Even in the super high-tech future, nuclear fusion is still a formidable force when deployed in space. And the good news is, the other crystals aren't doing anything. So now we should have even more of an advantage here. Because we have, well, basically way more firepower. We might still lose a Corvette. We're going to lose, I think we're going to lose the Astarion. That is unfortunate. But we have to sacrifice. Yeah, we've lost the Astarian. Now who else is who's next in line to start losing their selves? The Pazdur, a Widmer class Corvette, is now taking the brunt of the firepower. But yes, now the crystals are really going down fast. That's right. Ruby Crystal Sovereign class. Is we are gonna get out of this with just one dead Corvette. One little red Corvette, and you gotta repair yourself. So time to bring the science ship in the area up here. And I think, actually, this is a good time for us to finish up. We'll come back for another episode, and until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.